Hey, how's it going? Brad Riley here and welcome to this video. And in this one today, I have a people per hour tutorial. And in today's video, I'm going to be taking you from a complete beginner to an expert. So make sure you watch until the end. Now, just before we jump into it, if you are new around here, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss another upload. And also on July 1st, my brand new book is coming out, SMA Accelerator, the Social Media Marketing Blueprint. So if you're interested in learning how to start and scale a profitable social media business, being able to work from anywhere in the world, I highly recommend you pick up a copy free of charge. You just have to pay shipping. Check out the link in the description. Without further ado, let's jump into it. So this video today is broken up into four sections. The first section here, I'm going to be in front of the camera. I'm going to be breaking down how you can build up an expert profile. And then the final remaining three parts, I'm actually going to jump in screen and show you exactly inside of people per hour, how it all works and how you can get clients for your business. But before we do that, the first thing that I want to discuss with you is optimizing and building building your people per hour profile. Because before you do any outreach on that platform, before you reach out to prospects, reach out to potential clients, you want to make sure that you've got your profile as optimized as it can be. Because think about it, if you have a really optimized profile, when you're reaching out to these jobs, you're going to get more responses, meaning you're working smarter, not necessarily harder, because you could reach out to 10, 15, 20 people, somebody else could reach out to 10, 15, 20 people, but you'll get way more responses because you've spent the time upfront to optimize your profile. So that's what I want to run through here firstly in part one. So the first tip that I have for you is to take a professional photo and have a professional headshot on your profile picture because think about it. If you've got two people, one person has a nice professional image of them looking directly into the camera. They look somewhat professional in what they're wearing. Then you compare that to somebody else. It's them on a night out drinking some beer with their friends. Who do you think is going to get a better response? Who is more of an authority figure? Well, it's the person with the professional photo. So it seems so simple, but honestly, this will make the biggest difference in terms of your first impression. So I highly recommend the first thing you get a really nice professional headshot. Now the same goes as well with a banner. So you can have like a cover photo, like a banner. What I recommend you do very simply if you've got a, a brand or a business logo for your company or for your freelance business, I would recommend adding that on the background. And if you don't have that, pay somebody on Fiverr, five, 10 bucks to get that created because it will make a big difference. So the next piece of advice for your profile is to input relevant skills. So on your profile, you're gonna have a skills section and it's really important that you fill this out as much as you possibly can with the skills that you offer. So let's say in my scenario, you run a social media marketing business. What you wanna do is you wanna fill that profile out with things such as Facebook advertising, Instagram marketing, Facebook, social media marketing, social media management, LinkedIn, Instagram marketing. Like you wanna fill it out as much as possible with all the keywords that people will be searching for if they're looking for freelancers on the platform. Because what this is essentially gonna do, it's gonna help you rank. You know, if you have a keyword or a skill for social media marketing and somebody comes on looking for a social media marketer and they type in social media marketing, you're going to come up if you have that skill. If you don't have it in there, you may not come up. It's essentially almost like keyword ranking. Okay. So it's really important that you fill out your skills section as much as you possibly can with relevant, make sure they're relevant skills to the service that you're offering. Next up as well is the title of your profile. A few tips here. One, make sure you capitalize the first letter of every single word. You know, I think it makes it look way more professional if you have social media marketing expert and the S. S M M E are all capitalized rather than all lowercase. It doesn't look very professional. Um, another thing here as well, make sure it's very clear what you're offering. You know, if you offer Facebook advertising services or graphic design services, make it really clear what you offer there. You know, don't just put something like I have five years experience working for this company as your title. You know, you want to say social media marketing expert, graphic design expert, you know, something along those lines, make sure it's very clear what you offer, who you offer it to within that title. And and ideally, again, you want your keyword that you're trying to rank for with what people would search for in there. So if it's video editing, you want to make sure you have video editing or video editor in that title. Really, really important. So next up now is the portfolio section. So whether or not you have experience, you can still do this. If you have experience, great. What I recommend you do, go onto Canva, Google Slides, Keynote, Presentation, whatever it may be, and create a very simple portfolio with your company logos on and download it. Okay. So, and then upload that to people per hour. So you essentially want to put all 
all your best work, your testimonials, your reviews, everything it, that it is that you offer for the service you're trying to sell into a portfolio, download it and then upload it. Now, let's say you're brand new and you don't have any experience yet. What I highly recommend you do is you build your own experience. Now, I have other videos on this YouTube channel that discuss this in more detail, so be sure to check them out. But just as a brief overview here, let's say you offer or plan to offer graphic design services, then go ahead, completely free of charge, and build your own graphics, create a couple of logos for make-believe companies, create some nice designs, create some banners, download it, create yourself your own portfolio of work that you've done just for yourself, almost like mock-ups, and then upload that. Let's say you're a social media marketer, you wanna offer social media management services, build a couple of social media pages up, write the captions, post the content, and then use that as the portfolio. If you're a video editor, edit some videos, get some clips online, download it, and use them. So build your own portfolio if you have no experience. If you do, compile something together using canva.com, make it professional, add your company logo on there if you can, download that and then upload that into people per hour. Again, that will increase your conversions. So the final two here, number one, we have endorsements. Now endorsements are really powerful because as long as somebody else has a people per hour account, they can leave you an endorsement. So they can endorse you for a specific service. So this can be really powerful if you know a few people who can create some accounts and endorse you for that specific service that you're offering, it can be really powerful. So you know, if you're offering Facebook advertising services, if you can get some people to come onto your profile and say, I endorse Brad Riley for Facebook advertising. He's an expert at what he does, really great to work with. And if you can get a handful of people to do that for you, again, it's gonna be a really great way to build up your reviews and your experience without having actually run any clients through the profile yet. Um, which is a really great way, like I said, to increase your responses and get more clients on the platform. So get endorsements if possible. And then finally, the final piece of the puzzle here, a huge part of the profile is the bio section. Now the bio is so important because essentially this is your big long form written text on your profile. And this is where you write what you offer, any previous examples of results that you may have gotten, any testimonials. Essentially it's where you big yourself up and you tell people who are just landing on your profile what it is you do and how you can help them. So I have a couple of tips for for you when it comes to your bio. Number one, make sure you make it very clear what it is that you're offering. Sometimes, you know, it's not even better to just list the stuff that you offer. Paragraphs nicely spaced out and just list the stuff that you offer. You know, if it's if it's social media marketing, you say I can do lead generation, I can handle the retargeting, we handle copywriting, we handle sales funnels and landing pages, we can handle the ad creatives, like, you know, list all the stuff that it is that you offer. If it's graphic design, you do some manipulation stuff, you can use Photoshop, Canva, list what it is you offer just to make it very clear when people land on your profile what it is that you're offering. Also what you want to write here again is as much information as you can about what it is that you're selling, what it is that you're offering and one of the best ways you can do this is honestly just model success. I highly recommend go on to People Per Hour, find other freelancers who are also offering that service, who have done really well on the platform, see how they're positioned in their profile and maybe model that a little bit but tweak it to make sure it's specific to you in your service. That's another really great way as well to build that bio section out. And then finally in regards to bio what I recommend is you add social proof wherever you can. Now, obviously this is gonna be a bit harder if you're just starting out to add a bunch of reviews and testimonials and results and stuff into the bio if you don't have it yet. But if you are an experienced freelancer or an agency and you've worked in this business before and you're just looking to tap into people per hour as another lead generation source for your company, then add as much as you can in there in regards to social proof. So reviews, testimonials, if you have any type of fantastic case study or results results that you can literally just jam pack your profile full with, that is going to help you get more responses. It's great to say what you offer and, and how you offer it, but there's nothing quite like saying, here are the results that we've got for other people. You know, here is a testimonial from another client. Enough that's gonna get you better responses than that. So if you do have that experience and you're lucky enough to have a bunch of social proof like that, be sure to add as much of it as possible into your bio. So hopefully by now, if you followed all my steps, you should have a really nice optimized people per hour profile. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna jump in screen on my computer and I'm going to show you how you can find the perfect types of jobs and how you can reach out to customers on people per hour. So let's jump in screen. Okay, so now we're in screen. I'm going to show you some more information on how to find the right jobs and how we can very simply apply to jobs here on people per hour. So the first thing you want to do when you're logged in and you go to peopleperhour.com is you go to the search bar and you want to click search projects because this is how as freelancers, we can reach out to people who are looking for help. So very simply here, you go to the keyword search term and whatever service it is you're offering, you search for that. So for example, I'm gonna search here social media marketing because that is the service that I offer. 
So really important tip here straight off the bat that what you have to understand when it comes to finding the right jobs and finding any jobs for that matter is that people per hour is very keyword sensitive. So for example, social media marketing is just one of the kind of keywords within the service that I offer. Another keyword, which basically is the same service, but can be worded slightly different is Facebook advertising. So if I type in Facebook ad, We've got another 468 jobs come up that are all completely different to the keyword social media marketing, yet it's pretty much the same service. So whether you're offering graphic design, video editing, there's likely several, several different keywords specific to the service that you sell. So make sure you change up that keyword search here. You know, another example for me could be Instagram. You know, if we search that, Again, we're gonna see another 200 jobs come up. So super, super important, all right? But for the sake of the video, we're just gonna search social media marketing. Now, another tip that I have for you when it comes to finding the right jobs is I recommend you do outreach every single day. Now, if you're doing that, you may wanna come over here to the right-hand side and switch by latest. Because obviously at the minute, if it's just sorting by relevance, every single day, it's gonna look like the same jobs are there because they're the most relevant. But if you're checking this every day, you wanna go to latest because you can see the jobs that have been added most recent. So five minutes ago, 56 minutes ago, an hour ago, you know, you can see them all here based off of most recent. So if you're checking this every day with your different keyword search terms, then you're gonna to wanna to change this area over here on this side, but again, we'll just go back to relevance. Also, if you want to, you can see other filters here specific to the type of jobs you're looking for. I probably wouldn't mess around with it too much. I would spend the time searching the keywords and just digging a bit deeper, but you can have a play around with that. Another thing, really, really important. Don't always judge a book by its cover. Don't always judge the price here and think, you know what? This says 162 pound fixed price. If I'm gonna reach out to this job, that's what I'm gonna have to be paid. That isn't the truth at all. There's been so many times where there have been jobs that have been fixed rate for 200 or 250, where I've got them on a phone call and actually close them on a 500 per month deal or a thousand dollar per month deal nobody's going to go on here and say this is the maximum I'm, I'm willing to spend right if you stand out if you build a good relationship you may be able to charge a bit more than that's on here also sounds so silly right you can't always make make quick judgments you can't always assume that this is monthly for example you know with social media marketing before i reached out to jobs it says like 150 pound but it's per week, you know? So that actually works out closer to like 600 pounds every single month. So don't always make that fast judgment. It's better to apply to the job, get on a phone call, have a chat with them, and then make a discussion and negotiate and find out really what it is they're willing to pay because often these are placeholders and can be quite confusing. Also, another thing, you have fixed rate or hourly jobs. If you wanna work hourly, don't avoid applying to fixed rate. And if you want to work on a retainer basis, on a fixed rate basis, don't avoid applying to the hourly jobs. Again, it's a very simple discussion to just say, hey, can we work hourly? Or hey, I have a team, can we do fixed rate? Very, very simple, easily done. Okay, so now we know that, what we want to do here is we can open up in a new tab a couple of the jobs that we think are a good fit. So I'm going to go ahead and open these three very, very simply. So then what you do, you can go through and see if they're a good fit. So you can read the description here. In this scenario, it says we're looking for an ex experienced, passionate, creative social media manager. You'll be responsible for developing and implementing our social media strategy. Okay, great. That looks like something I can help with. So very simply, all you would do is click the send proposal button. Now, I'm not actually logged in right now, but very simply, you click send proposal. Then what happens, it will take you to another page where you just input the service that you're offering and you cl click submit. And sometimes you're asked to submit some type of like cover letter or outreach message. And again, I have other videos on this YouTube channel that go massively in detail on how to build up this cover letter for Upwork or People Per Hour. So I highly recommend you go and check that video out. It's, it's We haven't got enough time to go through it here today. But very simply, you click send proposal, it takes you to another page, you submit it, you agree to the price and you submit. And I, I always recommend if it's a fixed rate job, whatever the placeholder amount is, put that same amount, apply your cover letter, apply to the job. And then, like I said, you can open up a negotiation once you've applied. So very simply, that's how it works. Again, we may look at another job here and think, okay, cool. This looks interesting, but they're wanting this, this, and this, and that's not what I offer. So this isn't a good fit. Okay, let's look at this one here. Okay, this all looks great. I will apply. I won't apply. Um, really, really simple. And um, why we'll also say as well, on a final note here, before I jump into the final part of this video, where I show you massively how you can stand out, this is a perfect example because down the bottom here, it says you need to have at least this much experience, two years doing this, three years doing this, three years doing this. But to be completely honest with you, I would just go ahead and say, 
ignore that. Like, apply to it anyway, because if you can stand out and maybe you don't have three years experience, maybe you don't have a degree, but they ask for it, but you're able to go the extra mile compared to everybody else, there's no harm in at least applying. You've got less chance if you don't apply. The worst they can turn around and say is no. Okay, so apply to it anyway. Okay, so jumping into the final part of this video here today, I want to show you how you can stand out with your people per hour outreach. How can you stand out when essentially all it is that you're going up against other people, you're going up against other freelancers. So what can you do to get the response to get the client? I've got three really great and simple ways that you can massively stand out here. Okay. So first one, very simple on the right hand side, you can see the name of the person who's hiring. So whenever you re do outreach, whenever you send that message, when you're doing the outreach, I always recommend that you introduce by name. Hello, Alex. And then you have your cover letter, your outreach message. You know, let's find another example here. Sure. Hello, sure. Right. Very basic, very simple. It's going to help you stand out. Not many others will do it, but it shows your attention to detail and that you're not just copy and pasting everything all the time. Really important. Another great thing that you can do down here is this clarification board. Now, this is a perfect example. What you can do here is ask a question. So think about it. There are 19 others. So there's about 20, 24 people applying to this one job. Yet only one person is asked a question on the clarification board. What does this do? Well, it helps you stand out. It helps you stand out. One person here has decided to add, ask a question to the clarification board. So when the person who's hiring is going through all of those and they, they rec they'll recognize them straight away because that's the person that commented on the clarification board. So simple. And he's done a great thing. What industry is your client in? What is their current following subscriptions? So just asking some relevant questions specific to the client, to the job description, ask just one or two questions. It will help you stand out massively and this will help increase your conversions ins insanely, to be honest. And then the final thing you can do, very, very easy, but this nothing, nothing that you will do will increase conversions as, as good as this. And that is send Loom videos with all of your outreach. Now, if you're not familiar with what Loom is, essentially it's a Chrome extension and I've got it up here. And if you click it, what it allows you do, to do essentially is it allows you to actually film your screen. So for example, you could just say something like, hey, Brad Riley here, I'm on your job description right now. I noticed you're looking for help with graphic design. I'm actually an experienced graphic designer. I wanted to reach out to you and send you this personalized video. Um, if you're interested, I'd love to hop on a call, find out more about your business, about your wants and needs, and see if we're a good fit. Anyway, really look forward to your response. I've attached my portfolio and hope to hear back from you soon. Thanks. Okay, 30 seconds, 60 seconds, very personal. And what that's gonna allow you to do is build a level of rapport. It's gonna make you stand out massively to all the other freelancers that have also applied to that job. And you can just attach that with your outreach message that you send here on people per hour. So there you have it. That's a full A to Z tutorial on how people per hour works, how you can build an optimizer profile, how you can actually do outreach and reach out to people. And then finally, how you can stand out to get the best conversions and best response rate on this platform. Okay, so there we have it. I hope you found a bunch of value in this video today. If you did enjoy it, please drop a like. And then on a final note, if you are interested in having me hold your hand and mentor you to help you grow your online business, I'd like to invite you to check out my Entrepreneur Accelerator Mastermind. You literally get full access to me as your mentor. We have weekly live calls where you can ask me any question you want. We also have a members area with hundreds of hours worth of content on how to build and scale a profitable online business using both freelance websites and a bunch of other hours outreach methods that I obviously haven't discussed in this video here today. At this point now, we've helped thousands of people be able to earn an additional income, quit their jobs, and a bunch of which have even hit six figures online with their businesses as well. So if you're interested, just finding out a little bit more information on how we can work together on a more in-depth level, I'd highly recommend you check it out. It's super low cost, massive high value. So yeah, don't sleep on it. Go check that out. The link is in the description. And then finally, of course, be sure to grab yourself a copy of my brand new book. Thanks again so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.